I need to make a confession, Father. Sorry, I'm... I'm on break. I'm taking confession side in a few minutes. You all right? No, I'm not all right. I, I was the one that started the fires. That almost burned down all those houses last week. What? And to think I might have started the fires before that, too. You think? You mean you don't know? Once upon a time... It was a way to feel powerful. Stop, stop, stop. Hold on. Just... In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, now, continue. Once upon a time, fire was my only escape. Is it your heart again, Daddy? I'm fine. Stop slurping your soup. I'm still hungry. And what can I get for you, Your Highness? Nothing. You sure? I can call a personal chef. Then come make a full turkey dinner for you. Would that make you happy? No, these truckers are fine. You. I just swept the goddamn floor. It's okay. I'll pick them up. I'm sorry, Dad. You better get every damn crumb off the floor. I am. You don't appreciate anything I do for you. You're a spoiled little brat. Where do you think you're going? Get back over here. I'll be better. I promise. Shut your mouth. Please don't. Help me. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. Hurts, but not as bad as last time. I agree. He's nothing but a big bully. If Mama were here, she wouldn't let him hit me. Mama. Oh, I want to run away, but. But I promised her I'll watch after him. He has a weak heart. I wish I could fly away like a... Like a bird or butterfly. Or anything with magnificent wings. Up and up. I'm going downstairs now. No, bad. What do you mean by that? There's nothing wrong with lighting a match. I don't know why I went with fire, but I do. I just like striking a match. And I, I can't stop. Sometimes, I just have to burn one match after another and until I extinguish the entire box. It's 
like I'm drawn to fire. The snap of the match. The roar of the flame. It's power to explode into sparkles of gold. I hold a thin wood until the heat singes at my fingertips. It makes me feel better. Powerful, even. Maybe one day, if he hits me hard enough, I'll burn down his house. It sounds like it was an obsession. It was an obsession. And it lasted until the day he died. How did he die? I know what you're thinking, but I didn't kill him. Dad. Dad? Dad! He drank himself to death. And God forgive me, but... I was... happy when he died. Going to live with my grandmother was the best thing that ever happened to me. And my favorite part was during Christmas time. Every year for Christmas dinner, my grandma would lay out a snow white linen cloth and decorate the table with fine china. Her food was so good, mm. you could smell the roast goose and apple plum pie all the way down the block. And we spent hours decorating the tree together. We put the star on the highest branch and laced the leaves with silver tinsel. It was magical having a real family. But now that magic is a faint memory. She died in the fall. And with Christmas coming up, I feel so alone. I started lighting the fires again. But it's not for the reasons that I used to. It's not for revenge or for power. Then why do you do it? It helps me to remember the past. I know I sound crazy, Father. But every time I light a match, I can see Christmas past and its flickering flames. I can see sugar plum visions. I can hear their haunting melody. I can even taste the cooked goose. She used to tell me that when a star fell from the sky, it meant that a soul went up to heaven. Do you think that's true? I... I, I don't... I don't know. Welcome to Vogliene. Vermeertin Lillevon. I... I think we should go to the church. We'll get you some help. We'll figure this whole thing out. I never meant to hurt anyone in those fires. I just want to feel her love again so badly. I'm sorry, I have to go. What? No, come back! Come back! Don't leave me here!
She used to say that when a star fell from the sky, it meant a soul went up to heaven. Do you think that's true?